Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the remote access connection manager service is not working. Error code 0XC000005. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be actually to check for updates. So if there are any updates available to be installed, I'd recommend going ahead and actually checking for them and then install any pending updates. So go ahead and actually install them. And that's just one thing I would suggest taking a look at here. Something else as well, you know, after you're done checking for updates and if you restart your system and you're still having a problem, would be to open up the search menu, type in group policy, best result, should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. And you wanna select underneath computer configuration. So the top section over here on the left, you want to double click on that corresponding administrative template folder. Just double click on it. Do the same thing for the Windows Components folder. And then there should be a data collection and preview builds right here. On the right side, you want to locate where it says allow diagnostic data. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to set it to enabled. And then click inside the drop down here. And you want to set it to send required diagnostic data, and then you're going to select apply and OK. Close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in services. Best match, come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to locate the diagnostic policy service. And you want to stop it. And then you want to start it again. And then select OK. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.